welcome to video numero dos of the Fitness on Campus series. Today's video is going to be all about food. I'm going to share some healthy, quick, and easy breakfast, lunch, and dinner ideas for all you high school and college students. The great thing about these options is that the ingredients are really simple and can easily be bought if you live on your own off campus, found in your dining hall if you live on campus, or found in your parents' fridge or pantry if you're still living at home in our in high school. And best of all, for most of these items, all you'll need is a microwave to make them. So let's get started with the most important meal of the day, which is breakfast. Breakfast is one of the easiest meals where you can get protein and carbohydrates in in the same meal. So here are some options. Hard boiled eggs and oatmeal. You can pre-make the hard boiled eggs and store them in Ziploc containers and you can buy packets of instant oatmeal that are easily portable in your school bag, purse, or whatever it is that you carry with you in school. The second option is Greek yogurt and granola. Not only is Greek yogurt normally packed with about 15 grams of protein, it is sweet enough to curb any of your pancake cravings. If you are anything like me, sitting in class or studying makes you really hungry. So I always like to carry a snack with me or take little snack breaks um, throughout my study sessions or um, classroom sessions. Not only does snacking help speed up your metabolism, but it's also a great study tool to take breaks because our brain can only absorb so much information before you read the same page 10 times and realize that you still can't summarize it. So taking a break and having a snack is a really great tool to have. So here are some of the snacks that I like to bring with me to class or have with me in the library when I'm studying. Almonds. Almonds are, first of all, they're really tasty. Second of all, they are packed with healthy fats that our body needs to, guess what, burn fat. So make sure that you carry almonds. Normally the serving size is about half an ounce, which I've counted it, it's about 12 almonds. So make sure you have like a little small Tupperware container or a little small Ziploc bag and portion out your almonds because too much of a good thing is a bad thing. A second great snack that I like to carry with me are bars, protein bars. My favorite brands are Larbar, Think Thin. Think Thin has the most amount of protein that I found. I think it has 20 grams of protein and I've seen them at Walmart if you're curious. Cliff Bars are really good if you are training or an athlete because they have a lot of carbohydrates in them. And Luna Bars I found are the tastiest. The most natural of all of those is the Lara Bars and my favorite is the cookie dough flavor. But as far as flavor goes, if you're someone that has a really big sweet tooth, then I would go for the Luna Bars. They have amazing flavors. Amazing. And those you can get at Walmart also. Great thing about bars is that they're really portable and that's the reason why I like to have them as snack. They're really easy to just toss in your bag, take out. They don't make too much noise when you're in class. I know I get really embarrassed whenever I like, or and they're not really smelly too. Like sometimes I've brought, I've taken eggs with me into class and um, they've been in my fridge for a few days and they're still good but they have like that, you know, that egg smell. So if you want something that's not going to disturb your classmate with noise or smell then bars are a really good way to go. Another really easy snack is peanut butter and an apple or peanut butter and banana. Fruits in general are really easy to carry around if they're not like really small like berries even still you can have them in like little Tupperware containers but I really like to have apples and bananas because they're really easy again to just throw in your bag and I've seen in the, in the supermarkets at Whole Foods, Walmart that they now have like really small packets of peanut butter that you can um, just rip open and kind of like squeeze on whatever fruit it is that you're eating or whatever sandwich it is that you're eating and that is another great um, way to get in some carbohydrates and healthy fats. Peanut butter is a healthy fat as long as it is all natural. My favorite brands are Teddy and um, Smuckers makes a good one as well. Moving on to some great lunch options. Sandwiches by far are the easiest, easiest, easiest thing to pack. I know that a lot of people say that deli uh, meats aren't that great for you but when you're in college honestly first of all you don't have the money to like sit there and buy things that are organic second of all you're just trying to get get in and out of the supermarket because you have to go home and finish that 20 page paper that your history professor assigned so nobody has time to like spend a ton of time in the grocery stores trying to find the best deli meat so just buy whatever is on hand and just take a look at the ingredients and make sure there isn't things that are too bad in there for you but like stick to um, lean meats like turkey 
is a really good option and then instead of using white bread switch to a whole grain or a whole wheat bread Ezekiel bread is really good I personally just go for simple things like bimbo whole grain or whole wheat bread and then if you're someone that likes cheese go for the lower fat options there's like low fat mozzarella low fat American cheese but just go for the lower fat options to keep your calories low during your lunch one of my favorite lunch options is actually tuna in a bag. I know you can get tuna in a can, but they sell tuna in little packages that you can rip open and just literally eat the tuna out of the bag. And they have different flavors. My favorite is the, I think it's sweet and spicy flavor, but you can get those packets and then you can pair it with some rice cakes. And they have all sorts of flavors of rice, rice cakes. They have plain rice cakes. They have lightly salted rice cakes. My favorite is the cheddar cheese rice cakes. And literally all I do is put the tuna on top of the rice cake and eat it as though if it was an open face sandwich and that is a really good complex meal or a complete meal because you have your protein and your carbohydrates in that meal. You can make it an even more complete meal if you carry with you a small salad or if you're in the dining hall you um, put together a really small salad to go along with that tuna and rice cake. Finally it's time to discuss dinner. I personally love stir fries for dinner because it's just really easy. Um, at Walmart you can buy the steam fresh vegetables which you just pop in the microwave and it cooks it within the bag on its own. And then what you can do is buy pre-made and pre-cooked chicken and it's just one ingredient which is chicken and you actually just cook it in the microwave. You can also do it in the oven but a lot of people don't have access to that when they're in a college dorm room. If you're living at home you can pop it in your oven or if you live with your parents you can just ask your mom if you're you know not old enough to use a an oven on your own you can ask your parents to put it in there for you but it's already pre-cooked and really all you're doing is heating it up and then you can just throw some soy sauce on top of it with a little bit of almond oil and then you have your own stir fry really sim simple and easy to make. A second really good option which um, it's like a, a complete complete meal is you can Go ahead and buy microwavable salmon that you can easily pair with some Uncle Ben's microwavable whole grain rice and vegetables, the steamed vegetables that I had previously talked about. And that will give you a really delicious, quick, well-rounded dinner option. So as you can see, eating healthy is really attainable while you're in high school or college. You just have to get really creative with your options and find things that work for you and that you enjoy eating. Shop around in your dining hall. Sarah Fit just put up a really good video of how to come up with healthy meal ideas in your dining room. So I'm going to put a link to her video down below so that anyone that is living on campus can take a look at that and find out ways that they can make their dining room hall um, healthier for them so that you don't gain the freshman 15. I gained the freshman sophomore. No, the freshman junior, but that's another topic. Anyway, I hope you all found this video helpful. Make sure that you tune into next week's Fitness on Campus video. I'm going to be sharing with you all a video where I have created a quick body weight exercise workout routine that is dorm room approved. And again, that's going to be up on Tuesday. If you do not already follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, make sure that you do. I'm really active on social media, and all those links will be down below in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe. I put up new health and fitness videos up every Tuesday. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, bye.